We all humans love freedom, don't we? We enjoy traveling, we enjoy total freedom of being ourselves. Have you ever thought of animals? Animals are also living beings and they too have the same kind of freedom. But what if you were locked in a cage? How would it be? What if you were locked in a cage and can't even move a bit? It would be very painful, right? Animals too suffer from the same thing. They are locked up in small cages and cannot enjoy their natural freedom. Animals are indeed living beings, capable of experiencing emotions, sensations, and desires. They have their own natural instincts and behaviors that are often curtailed when they are kept in captivity, such as being locked in small cages. Animals in captivity may experience significant physical and psychological distress, as their freedom to roam, hunt, socialize, and express natural behaviors is restricted. Imagine being confined in a small cage where you can't move, stretch, or engage in activities that are important to you. It would undoubtedly be distressing and painful. Similarly, animals in captivity may suffer from stress, frustration, boredom, and even depression due to their limited space and inability to carry out their natural behaviors. Many animals are kept in cages in various contexts, including zoos, circuses, laboratories, and as pets. While some facilities may strive to provide adequate care for their captive animals, many animals still face confinement in small cages that are not conducive to their well-being. Even in larger enclosures, the ability to roam and express natural behaviors may still be limited compared to their natural habitats. It's important to recognize that animals have a right to their own freedom and natural behaviors, just as humans value their own freedom. Many animal welfare organizations advocate for the ethical treatment of animals, including providing them with appropriate living conditions that allow for their physical, social, and psychological needs to be met. This includes promoting alternatives to captivity, such as sanctuaries and wildlife reserves, where animals can live in a more natural environment. In conclusion, while humans value and cherish freedom, it's crucial to remember that animals also deserve the same consideration. Keeping animals in small cages can have detrimental effects on their physical and psychological well-being, limiting their natural behaviors and instincts. It's important to promote ethical treatment of animals and seek alternatives to captivity to ensure their welfare and well-being are respected.